Good evening. Welcome to LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Today is your annual New Year Prayer and Fasting Day number three from January 4 to 8, 2021. Today is Wednesday, January 6. Let's start with the reading of the word. Nehemiah chapter 4, verses 1 to 9. It's about the progress in spite of opposition. When Sanballat heard that we were rebuilding the wall, he became furious. He mocked the Jews. Before his colleagues and the powerful men of Samaria and said, <laughs> What are these Jew pathetic Jews doing? Can they restore it by themselves? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they ever finish it? Can they bring these burnt stones back to life from the mounds of rubble? Then Tobiah the Ammonite, who was beside him, said, Indeed, even if a fox climbed up what they are building, he, he would break down the stone wall. Listen, our God, for we are despised. Make their insults return on their own heads and let them be taken as plunder to a land of captivity. Do not cover their guilt or let their sin be erased from your sight because they have angered the builders. So we rebuilt the wall until the entire wall was joined together up to half its height for the people had the will to keep working. When Sanballat, Tobiah, and the Arabs, Ammonites, and Ashdodites heard that the repair to the walls of Jerusalem was progressing and the gaps were being closed, they became furious. They all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and throw into and throw it into confusion. So we prayed to our God and stationed a guard because of them day and night. Nehemiah chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. My God, remember Tobiah and Sanballat for what they have done, and also the prophetess Noadiah. And the other prophets who wanted to intimidate me. The wall was completed in 52 days. On the th 25th day of the month of Elul. When all our enemies heard this, all the surrounding nations were intimidated and lost their confidence. For they realized that this task had been accomplished by our God. Wow. Will God take up my cause? Well, that's a valid question. We all know that Nehemiah was a godly man who set out to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. His work was noble and his heart pure. Yet people came against him in opposition. People taunted him and set out to thwart his work. They ridiculed and insulted him even though he was doing good. Sometimes you might feel bullied. Perhaps your name is being dragged through the mud. I've experienced this and know how it feels to have a good heart and do the right thing only to unknowingly push a button in someone who then goes and does harm to your character. I also know that it's like to not feel comfortable to share with someone what happened because the person is suspected and looked up to at work. So in silence, you feel hurt and betrayed, wondering how people will see you. But you did nothing wrong. And you want to believe that God will take up your cause and will defend your character. Yet the person gets away with it. You're left wondering how someone could get away with doing wrong while you get hurt in the process. Will God show up? Will God defend my name? Nehemiah's response to the unjust treatment towards him wasn't to go back to Artaxerxes and complain about Sanballat. 
the man who was taunting him, or to confront with threats or defense. Nehemiah's response was to pray and continue working on the wall. When you are being bullied or treated unfairly, your instinct might be to get back at the person by smearing their name or to defend yourself by pointing blame or many other options that seem fair. The best thing you can do is pray and keep doing the good work. God has called you to not to get sidetracked by discouragement from others. That's exactly what the enemy wants. He keep doing the good and right thing and let God worry about the other person's treatment of you. Maybe you'll see him publicly come to your defense, but maybe he won't. Either way, trust God to work all things out for good. Let us pray. Our prayer focus for this evening is about the Church of the Nazarene. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful Wednesday evening. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us that uh, even people are mean to us, even people are bullying us, pushing us against the wall, even people are not nice to us, even people are not happy when we are doing good and we are doing your will. Even people are jealous. Even people are envy. You keep on reminding us to keep our focus, depend on you, and allow you to fight for us. Allow you to, to keep our strength, which you are the only source of strength. You alone, Lord God, you alone is our source of strength. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for the continuous uh, surge of COVID-19. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you stop it, you put an end to it, and uh, heal people, Lord God, are suffering from this deadly disease, Lord God. And uh, we pray, Lord God, for the anxiety and depression that... Uh, keep on um, torturing many people right now and uh, we pray for the unrest we pray Lord God for the chaotic situation in the uh, capital Lord God we pray that uh, it will bring healing to our nation Lord God We pray, Lord God, for our denomination, Church of the Nazarene, from our general superintendents, Lord God, to our district superintendents, to all the offices, Lord God, to all the local pastors, Lord God, we pray for them. Uh, during these trying times, Lord God, we are tasked by you to share hope. We pray, Lord God, that... Uh, you keep all your servants grounded and you keep your all your servants, Lord God, empowered, motivated. Lord, uh, we pray for the U.S. Canada. Uh, we pray, Lord God, for our Los Angeles district. We pray for our dear district superintendent, Reverend Greg Garman. Um, help him, Lord God. Uh, strengthen his leadership, Lord God. We pray for all the churches here in uh, Los Angeles District. We pray for our Filipino zone in U.S. Canada, Lord God. We pray for our uh, supervisor, uh, Reverend uh, Kema, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for all the Filipino churches. We pray, Lord God, for the MCB, the downtown LA churches. We pray, Lord God, not only for the Church of the Nazarenes, Lord God, but, but for, for all your churches, Lord God, who are doing your work and uh, making disciples and proclaiming the Gospels. We thank you, Lord God, for blessing us, for continuing to support us 
And uh, thank you, Lord God, for all the wisdom that you provide for us, Lord. Lord, we, thank, we, we, we pray, Lord God, for complete healing for Carney, for Fedi, for Shella Torres, for Chito Ronaldo, complete healing for Arian and Rachel. We thank you, Lord God, for uh, Ron Eric Sembrano. He's uh, out of the hospital now and uh, he's completely healed from dengue. We thank you, Lord God, for all this blessings lord and all this healing and we continue to pray for all these people who are sick right now heal them in the mighty name of jesus amen amen some announcements we are continuing our january 4 to 8 annual five days of prayer and fasting join us our uh, uh, from monday to friday in our nightly devotion they need counseling any prayer requests look for pastor bert for online giving, uh, type that the search for LA First Philippine Church of the Nazarene. Our fellowship schedule, Wednesday, 7 p.m., walk through the Bible, virtual midweek live, Facebook and YouTube. This will resume on next week, January 13, 2021. Every Friday, 8 p.m., Bible study and prayer party will resume on January 8, 2021. And every Sunday, 9 a.m., in person at Wiley Chapel. And we also have online virtual worship live uh, Facebook and YouTube. In case you want to join us in Wiley Chapel in person, uh, we encourage you to follow these guidelines for the best possible way to love others in your return to LA Field Nest Church. Please wear a mask. Seating will be limited and please sit with those you came to service with. Maintain physical distancing six feet apart from those who don't live with your household. Please keep three seats between households. Pick up communion, sermon notes, and drop off your tithes and offerings in the lobby prior to entering the worship center. If you are sick or have been exposed to someone who is sick, please worship with us online. Kids, youth services will be temporarily put on hold. Allow me to bless you tonight. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God bless you. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Bye.